All right, so we just finished charging the battery for about 10 hours uh, last night. And then I pulled the charger off and I let it sit overnight and <laughs> make sure that the battery is holding the charge and you actually do have a good battery. So prior to charging the battery, it was only showing 11 volts. And uh, here's me touching the positive. And as you can see, it held 12.8 volts and it held it overnight for about 12 hours. So. Um, your battery is charged now. We're going to go ahead and install it into the jet ski now. And uh, we'll go from there. Alright, so we got the battery in. I'm getting ready to hook up the connectors, but I notice there's quite a bit of corrosion right here. That positive cable should be nice and clean. And it's got buildup on it, and so does the negative. So I'm going to be wire brushing those and getting those all clean. Um, I also got the drain hose hooked up on the back of the battery that feeds through right here um, and hooks up. So anyway, we're going to finish cleaning this up and then we'll see if it turns over. Alright, so these are clean. You can see how they're nice and bright and shiny. Now you're going to get a good power and a good ground connection to your battery. So, alright. <coughs> anyway, here it is your starter as you can see it's still in and uh, how it bolts in here's the starter I have hooked up as a test starter that's your positive cable usually I just check power and ground it's good to use as, as a test starter just to check powers and grounds because you can see it moving and I can show people that it works so anyway <clears throat> I'm going to be pulling your starter now, and uh, we'll go from there. But it looks like you have a bad starter at this point.